What's up guys, it's Ed back again from TechSource and welcome to Cool Tech Under 50 for the month of August. If you guys are new to the series and somehow missed my previous episodes, I'll go to leave a link to the playlist down below. I went over some really cool products in the last few months, so definitely go ahead and check it out when you have time. Also, all the products I mentioned in this video will be linked down below in the order that you see them, so it's easier for you guys to find them. But without wasting any more time, let's go ahead and start the video. All right, so starting off the list is the Quick Lock, and this is a Bluetooth and NFC smart padlock. It comes in black, blue, red, and yellow, and I've been using this the past week now, and I absolutely love this thing. I hate carrying keys with me or even remembering combinations, and if you're the same like me, then you're really going to love this lock. In the back, you will find the micro USB port needed to charge the lock, but there's really no need since a single charge can last up to two years. That's crazy. So there's a few ways you can unlock this. Uh, the first way is through Bluetooth, uh, but you will need to first download the app on iOS or Android. Then simply open it up and hit the button on the actual padlock. Once it recognizes the lock, you can tap the unlock button and it will immediately unlock. It's simple as that and you can also even have the auto unlock feature enabled and it will automatically unlock as you open the app. That way you don't have to hit the unlock button every time. Now let's say you don't want to go through the hassle of using your phone. Well in that case you can use one of these NFC cards that they provided and you can keep them inside your wallet. Just simply hit the button on the lock and tap the card once on it and bam you're in. Last method is using another NFC key card but this one is much smaller and can be attached to your keychain. The lock is very durable and I recommend this to anyone that uses locks daily and hates carrying extra keys or remembering passcodes. I do have two extra ones and black that I'm going to give away on my Twitter soon so if you guys are interested make sure you are following me there. This next product is a cool looking portable power bank. It features 3000 milliamps of power and it comes in several colors. Uh, you will find the USB and micro USB port on the side and the LEDs are touch sensitive and will display how much juice is left in the power bank. But the reason why I'm featuring this in my cool tech video is because of its price. It only costs 6 bucks and you get a really cool looking portable bank that you can attach to your keys. Speaking of keys, this next product is called the B-Key and it's basically a power bank with 350 milliamps of power. This is basically used for emergencies only and it's compact, light form factor makes it super easy to carry it around with your keys. There is one available for Android as well and to charge up the B key you simply pull off the cap and plug it into your PC, laptop or any powered USB port. Next up are these clear cases from ULAC which are designed in Italy. They come in several colors and feature soft silicone material on the inside to protect your phone and the outer hard shell protects the phone from drops. The buttons are really easy to press because of the way they are designed and the cutouts are precise with extra room for third party accessories. But why are they on my cool text series? Well the cool part is is that the silicone actually glows in the dark which is nice when you need to find your phone in the dark. This next product is a really impressive one. These are the NX80 earphones from Noise Hush. So for only 12 bucks you get a really good looking pair of earphones with amazing sound quality. If you guys don't believe me you can check the reviews. They sound super crisp with a great bass. It also does a great job isolating noise. Although I recommend the larger ear gels for the best noise isolation. It comes with a pouch and three other sized ear gels. In my experience this past week, the smaller sized ones are too small and the earphones would constantly jiggle their way out of my ears as I'm working out or walking around. So I strongly recommend going with the two largest ear gels for optimum noise isolation and a snug fit. I was impressed with the build quality for what I was paying. These are very durable and well made. The only thing that I do not like about these earphones is the fact that it doesn't have a volume control option. So you have to adjust it using your smartphone or device. But it does have a button to accept calls or pause and play music. The button is very tactile and responsive so you always know when you have pressed it. Which is one of the things I like about it over my Beats earphones. I mentioned before it comes in a pouch but I much prefer this tiny hard case from Brainwaves. Not only it matches the color scheme of the earphones but it offers more protection and features two pouches. By the way the earphones also come in three other awesome color combinations. These next two products are from Phone Salesman. First up we have a completely wireless Qi charger called the Qi Stone and I say completely wireless because well it doesn't need to be plugged into a wall. This thing is awesome. It also doubles as a power bank and it features 4000 milliamps and you can charge your device using the USB port while wirelessly charging another phone on top. It's super compact in size and has a very soft texture to it that's made to resemble an actual stone. It's also touch sensitive, tapping it once will display the LEDs which will indicate how much juice is left. 
This charger is compatible with all smartphones and tablets that are able to charge wirelessly, like the Nexus lineup, Galaxy S6, and even smartwatches like the Moto 360. If you have a phone that doesn't feature wireless charging, then all you need to do is pick up these power slim cards and install them on your phone. Just remove the back cover, apply the power card, and install the cover back on and you are ready to charge wirelessly. They have them for practically all the smartphones and I'll leave a link down below for anyone that's interested. They even have wireless charging for iPhones, but you do need a case installed for it to work. Just simply plug in the card and fold it backwards and tuck it between the iPhone and the case and you're basically ready to go. By the way, if you're wondering where I got these awesome carbon fiber skins from, then I'll leave a link down below on where you guys can pick some up. The wireless chargers actually come in a bunch of other designs as well, including a wood series. However, these you do need to plug into a wall for it to work. This next product is really awesome. This is the TP-Link wireless USB adapter that supports speeds up to 150 megabits. Let's say you built a PC and it doesn't come with a Wi-Fi adapter built in the motherboard or the Wi-Fi adapter on your laptop broke down and you can't connect to the internet anymore. Well, this little thing will give you Wi-Fi access. Just plug it into your PC or laptop Wait for it to install the drivers and after a few seconds, you have Wi-Fi. It's priced under 10 bucks and the best part about it is that it's super small and great for travel. Next up, we have the Antlions Mod Mic and this is a detachable microphone that you can hook up to your headphones. This is great for anyone that's not looking to buy a headset or a separate microphone and instead they can just use their own headphones and add a mic to it. I love my ATH and 50Xs a lot but it doesn't have a built-in mic feature and I don't want to buy another headset that has one built in or even buy another separate microphone. So instead I can just attach the mod mic to it whenever I need to use one. It comes with a magnetic clasp attached by 3M tape that can stick onto any plastic, metal, and mesh type material. This makes it super convenient to detach the microphone whenever you want. The the arm is also made out of reinforced steel and it can easily be bent to fit your preference. Here's a quick sample using the Antline mod mic uh, without any editing. The mod mic is usually around 50 bucks but you can actually get it for a lot cheaper through Mass Drop. You never have to pay full retail price on tech items if you're using Mass Drop. They have awesome deals and a bunch of cool tech products including keyboards, PC parts, monitors, and more. The mod mic will be back on Mass Drop soon and I'll leave a link to it down below so you guys can request it and check out the site. These next two products are from Orico. First up is the car charger with three USB ports in the form of a cup. Instead of a regular car charger that plugs into your lighter, this one is shaped like a cup so not only can you charge three devices at the same time, but can also hold your smartphone or other devices as well. The next Orico product is one of my favorites and I'll show you why in a second. This is the Orico 6 outlet surge protector with 5 USB charging ports and they do have options for 4 and 8 outlets as well. It's super light and I strongly recommend this for anyone that wants to manage their cables. So a lot of you know that I have an adjustable desk and my cable management isn't that great. Well the reason is this, I do need the cables loose so that it retracts with my table as I raise it up. So it limits how much cable management I can really do. Well, not anymore. Thanks to the 6 outlet surge protector, I turned this into this. So I attached 6 tiny squares of 3M tape on the back of it and I attached it to the roof of my desk. I then proceeded to plug in all my devices in it. With some help from cable drops and raceways, I was able to completely transform my entire setup. I'm telling you guys, the 3M tape I keep using for all my stuff is super strong. Strong enough to even hold up my heavy power brick for my ultra wide monitor. It's been over a week now and it's still holding it up without any problems. But anyways, I'll go ahead and drop a link to all the stuff I use for cable management down below if you guys are interested. These last set of products are for my gamers that are watching the video. I did not forget about you guys. For under 30 bucks, you get one of the best budget gaming gear you can currently buy. The keyboard isn't mechanical obviously, but it looks great and features interchangeable WASD keycaps and arrow keys. The window key can also be disabled for gaming which is a nice feature to have. And the keys have a slight texture feel to them and are very responsive and comfortable to type on. The gaming mouse is just as great. You can adjust the DPI from three different settings up to 2000 and features two programmable buttons on the side for navigating forward and back. There's also a button on the top along with the anti-skid track wheel. Its symmetrical shape makes it a great choice for both left and right handed users and it's very comfortable thanks to its ergonomic design. Of course, a mouse and keyboard isn't complete without a matching mouse pad from Red Dragon as well. There are a few other awesome designs as well and I'll leave a link to them down below. This next product is not only a great gaming headset, but it costs under 15 bucks. By far the best budget gaming headset you can buy and if you don't believe me, you can check the reviews for yourself. So it's compatible with Windows, Mac, smartphones and practically anything else that has a 3.5mm jack 
including consoles like the PS4. Just plug it in the controller and you are ready to go. It comes with a built-in retractable mic and here's a quick sample of the audio. Here's a quick sample of me talking on the headset microphone enabled without any editing. The headset is made out of glossy plastic and for only 15 bucks, I'm really surprised at the build quality. It's really durable and I've been wearing it this past week without any problems. The cushions are really soft for both the ear cups and the headband, so you are good to game for hours without fatigue. You can mute the mic and control the volume as well and all three of the cables from the keyboard, mouse and headset are threaded red and black which is awesome since they all match. Last but not least, we need a place for the headphones. This is the Thermaltake Gaming Headphone Cradle and I picked this one up for my setup simply because it looks cool. After all, this is a cool tech series, right? If you guys have a black and red color scheme like I do, then these gaming gear will definitely make a sweet addition to your setup. Oh, and I almost forgot to mention that the keyboard and mouse have red LEDs, which looks awesome and low light. So that's it for the video, I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, let me know by leaving a like on the video, especially if you want me to continue doing this every single month. Um, I'm also going to be doing a cool tech under 100 for the month of August as well, that's going to be coming up in about a week or two, so make sure you guys stick around for that. Um, also, if you guys haven't seen my previous episodes, definitely check it out if you guys have time. Once again, the playlist link will be down below. But that's basically it. Thank you guys so much for watching the video. This is Ed from TechSource. I will see you in the next video.